Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Our next guest uh, tonight has made some of the finest work I have ever seen, and it's an absolute pleasure having him on the show tonight. We'd like to introduce yourself. My name is Michael Rose, um, and I make memes for the internet. So, Michael, what exactly is it that you um, create? Could you give us some examples? Yes, certainly. Um, just the other day, I made a video. It was the B movie trailer, but every time they say the word B, it cuts to um, We Are Number One, a wonderful song by um, Lazy Town. Okay. And every time they say the word one in that song, I cut to the Nut Shack theme tune. And every time they say the word Nut Shack in that, I, uh, I uh, cut back to the B movie trailer. And it gets a little bit faster each time. It's one of my finest pieces, I think. Your, um, your, your pieces, your, your work, would you call what you do art? Well, I think art is a very, very broad subject. I think overall, I think people like um, uh, like Andy Warhol, like Picasso, uh -huh. uh, they made things that, that uh, made a difference and made people see things in a new light. And I th really think that is the essence of um, art. So yes, yes, I think I, I do make art. Now, as with every creator, uh, with the love comes a lot of hate. What do you have to say to the people that um, give hate towards your work? I think um, no matter what you do to make a change in the world, you're always going to receive hate. I think of um, Martin Luther King, Gandhi, some of the most hated people in the world by some, but they still made a huge impact even in today's society. Uh, and I'm I sorry, think, uh, did, you, um, did you just compare yourself to um, Gandhi and Martin Luther King? Yes. I, th I think so, yes. <laughs> okay. How hard is it um, being a, a meme creator? Well, it's not easy. It's not easy at all being um, an artist like myself. I am working day and night and day trying to find uh, what formula will work. The essence of comedy is so difficult in a, a situation like this. What will make people laugh? What will make people cry? What will make people want to kill themselves? It's these kind of questions I ask myself daily. Mm, so One of the hardest mm. pieces I had uh, to make was uh, the B-movie trailer. But every time they say B, uh, every word beginning with B is replaced with the previous B. And I had to use an algebraic formula to work this one out. Do you mind uh, explaining the formula, if you can remember? Certainly, if I can think of it at the top of my head, it was, um, it was A, A being the word B. Uh, equals uh, minus b, uh, minus b of course being uh, a word beginning with b, uh, minus, and then in parentheses, uh, a minus 1, and then every word after that would be replaced. It, it, was, um, it was a very stressful week well, for Michael, me. Well, Michael, we're going to have to end it there, but thank you very much for coming on the show today. Yes, thank you very much. Yes, I, I hope to see you um, again very soon. Uh, who knows where I'll be. Oh, if you pardon the pun. <laughs> <laughs> That's very funny, yeah. The, the end. end. Well, yes, of course. I guess uh, while I'm here, I can tell you, I'm currently working on um, uh, it's the B movie, but every time they say B, it speeds up by two. But every time they say honey, it slows down by three. But um, every time, sorry, every time a word beginning with C is said it cuts to the Nutshack theme tune, and every time they say the word Nutshack, it goes back to the B-movie, although it's a lot more distorted, and Jerry Seinfeld is replaced with um, Donald Trump uh, singing about the Macarena. It's, um, it's taking a while, but I think, uh, give me a few more months, I will be able to do it, and all my lovely fans will, um, they'll finally love me. <laughs>